Hello friends, this is Father Frank Pafo, National Director of Priests for Life, speaking to you shortly after hearing the verdict in the Kermit Gosnell abortionist murder case. He has been found guilty of first-degree murder in the case of three deaths of babies, known as baby A, C, and D. We named these children, and so these babies are baby Adam, baby Alex, and baby Chris. This whole case is sad from beginning to end and would have been whatever the verdict was today. But the fact that there is a murder verdict here shows that the law does draw a clear line and must continue to draw a clear line between a woman's so-called right to choose and a baby's right to life. Because when Gosnell killed these three babies outside the mother's womb after these babies had been born, doesn't mean that the mother changed her mind about wanting an abortion and about not wanting these children. What it means is that despite where her mind was, despite her will, despite her choice, there comes a point at which choice yields to life. And that's one of the key aspects of significance in this case. He was also found guilty of the death of Karnamaya Mongar. And here, the issue was not that he slit her neck. The issue here was that he allowed his clinic to, to deteriorate into such conditions that it led to her death. This is a point at which we have to re-examine whether it makes sense that the very same babies who were now, he's guilty of murdering, if they had been killed a few moments or a few inches uh, apart from where they were, that this would have somehow been a legal abortion. And we have to reevaluate the conditions of abortion clinics throughout the country because we know that there are hundreds of Gosnells operating in hundreds of facilities just as bad as his was. And we have to increase and strengthen and enforce clinic regulations for the benefit of these women who go to these places. Brothers and sisters, you can read more about our response to the whole Gosnell case at KermitGosnell.com.